What up? It's your boy, Nick, H-O-U-T-X Trader. All right. Look, guys, this is just for training. This is just an idea. This is not financial advice. If you need financial advice, go see a financial planner. Guys, we're going to look at gold. And this is a crazy, stupid, easy gold strategy. Crazy, stupid, ridiculous, doesn't make any sense, whatever. I back tested it. It works. Okay. So you be the judge. Do your own back testing. Do not over leverage. Take a small little percent, just take your small little gains, and that little quarter percent risk turns into a half percent TP with the fucking runner, and then, you know what I mean, it is what it is. So let's show you the gold Goldilocks strategy, okay? I'm going to share this entire screen, and I'm going to minimize this, and then I'm going to bring up the trading view. All right, guys, this strategy is so simple. Here are the rules. It's, all right. First of all, you need to go to your indicators. And you need to download or, or get on your chart sessions. Sessions on chart. There it is. Okay. Once you pull up the sessions, go to your little um, settings. And I want to highlight London, only London. And I have it set for 2 a.m. This is Eastern time, 2 a.m. to 8.30. Because at 8.30 Eastern time, news drops. Okay. News drops. So that's it. 8.30, and let's go back to this uh, real quick. On the style, uncheck everything except for this. Plots background. It's the very first one. That says background color. The first one says plots background. That is London. Everything else is unchecked. That's all you need. 2.30, 8.30, London, plots background. That will give you a box. Now, mine's purple. Make it whatever color you want. Okay, the rules are if the 15-minute candle, we'll use this as an example, breaks outside of the London, all right? So here's the top of London, right there. When the 15-minute candle breaks outside, then you take the trade in that direction. Here's the example. This candle does not close. This candle does. Our stop loss is 50% of London, okay? There's your stop loss. I know in this situation, it's big. The way I back tested it, my TP was uh, 100, 100 pips, right? So if this is in at 34, we're looking at 44. There it is, 100 pips. Never came. I mean, it came down a little bit and then went right back up. My idea behind this is after listening to Tom Hugard, to be honest with you, he says he wants to catch the move of the day. He's an interday trader, scalper, looks at camel patterns, whatever. And it dawned on me. That that's true. That a lot of times there's a move of the day. With this strategy, you, you're using the London, and then as news news hits and New York session comes in with the volume, hopefully the, the it will keep going in that direction off the quote unquote news of the day. So let's look at this one. Okay, there's your London. Here is. Your 15 minute closeout. Now, this one didn't hit all the way from 100. It gave you 83. Okay. And I believe the way I back tested this is if it went to 50 pips, break even. Okay. You're up 50 pips, break even. So, the way I did this is I put a B, break even. I put a W here. Okay. Now, this one, now this is where you could probably go and like play with the strategy. Maybe look at a five-minute candle. Maybe look at something. I don't know. I just use 15 minutes, okay? Um, technically, you would have taken the trade here. All right? And it gave you 68, so this wouldn't have been another break-even. Maybe you change the maybe you change the strategy. You take half off at 50 pips, and you let the half run. I don't know. You do you. I only know that I tested it as 100 pips, and no matter where the candle closed, I took it. I wanted to be very... Black and white, very binary, no BS, right? And I had a winning, I was over 50% win to loss ratio. And on the 50 something, 60, well, I can't remember exactly how many I back tested, I had a 50 hundred pips up. Again, that's no runners. That's just closing, break evens, 100 pips or stop loss, black and white. All right. Here we go. All right. There's the close. It gave you 87 pips. Again, we're going to count this as a break even. All right. Right here, close. 
It ran for that would be a W because the stop loss did not get touched. Did not get touched. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Closed outside and then it did retrace right back up to the top, but not get touched. This is a W. Win. All right. 130 pips. This one looks like it's going to be tight. Oh, man, it hit stop loss. So this is a loss. All right, closed right there, went up. Actually, hold on. Closed here. And it gave you 73 pips. So this is a break even. Break even. All right. Looks like a winner. Well, 78 pips. It's another break even, unfortunately, guys. I know it doesn't look like much now. But at least you're—I mean—you're catching seventy pips. Maybe, maybe you take some of that profit. I don't know. Uh, but again, I did this on the fifteen-minute chart and went way, way back. So this one you could just see right here is probably a loss. Yeah, that's that's going to be a hell. Oh, look at this. Here we go. Look, close right there. Ran. There's an easy winner. There's the move of the day. Ran for 260 pips. Win. All right. You can see this is easily a win. It doesn't close until over here. So it obviously won. Win. This looks like a break even. You can kind of just look at it and tell after a while, right? But let's just see how many pips this is. I want to be very accurate. I don't want to try to pad the numbers to make it look like it's better than it is. But there it is. There's the London. There's the first close, technically right there. And that gave you 49.1, 49.7. Just for argument's sake, we'll count it as a fucking loss. All right. It didn't give you 50. This one's crazy. Move of the day already happened. So, again, this is where you could dial in and make the strategy better. But technically, we're going off of rules. There's 74 pips. There's a break even. All right. But I mean, if you would have, if you would have seen this, you probably would have taken it that far outside the box. But that's up to you. Oh, this is an easy win. That's a big win. Again, now here's the beauty of this strategy, right? Is that you could take this 50 pips, 70 pips, 80, whatever it is you want to take. I mean, look at how you've now caught the move in your runner. I mean, that's 560 pips. Right? Like, you, you see what I'm saying? Close below, 79 pips to break even. So you get the idea of what I'm doing. Go back test it yourself. This does not close below. Look, it closes outside. That does not count. Technically, it closed above right there, so this would be an L. I don't know if you would have wanted to re-enter right there, but you get the idea. This does not close outside until right here. So that dip down below does not count. So the entry is right here. Right? There's the entry. It does not come back down to there and easily 100 pips. All right? Well, technically, yeah. There's your 72 pips, and perhaps you, know, you probably would have broke even. So we'll just call it a break even. All right? Well, we're not trying to make the strategy look better than it is. We don't need to. We'll call this one L. I don't know how many pips this is. 50? 51. So that's not an L. That's a, that's a, a break even again. So again, maybe your first TP is at 50, and then you could count that as an L. It's not the way I back tested it. Where does it close outside? Right here? Obviously, when. We're just going to do this. Until we have a good enough sample size. All right. Did this hit stop loss? Technically, that does hit stop loss. It'll close here and came and got you. So that's an L. And I thought that was L2. Because it closes and it comes right back. So we'll call that as a L. This one doesn't close below. It doesn't close. It doesn't close below until way over here, which is like 9, 10 o'clock at night. I'm not even going to say you take that trade. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Closes above. How many pips is that? Gave you a run. 
to break even. So never closes below, closes right there. Anyways, closes right there and then runs on the same on the next candle, runs for 50, so there's a break even. You get the idea, right? You guys obviously get the idea of what I'm doing. So let's just reset this chart. We've got what two L's win, win, three L's. So let's do this. Wins, we'll say <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six wins right now. L's one, two, we'll count these two, two, three, four, five. We only got five L's. Right. And the break evens are what the break evens are. Right. So there it is. There's automatically a winning loss, win loss ratio. We just showed it. And these, so that is 600 pips, at least 600 pips, not counting any runners. And in my back testing, I went back and checked how many pips each of the L's were. And it, the losses vary between 90 to 30 pips. Average out was 53. My wife's calling me. That's all I got, guys. Stop, share, and in.